Preface to the 4th English Edition This edition of Srimad Bhagavad Gita is a translation of the Hindi edition presented by our most beloved Trila Guru Deva, Nityalila Pravishta Om Vishnupada, Astota Sata Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaja. It contains a translation of the Sar Artavarshini Tika commentary that is a shower of essential meanings, which was composed by the eminent Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharya Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. That commentary is further elucidated by Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaja in his own purport the Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashika Riti, that which illuminates Sar Ardhavarshini. He often concludes his expositions with excerpts from the charming commentary of Srila Bhaktinoth Thakur named Rasika Ranjana, that which gives joy to those experts in relishing transcendental mellows. During his manifest pastimes in this world, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Sri Krishna himself, the speaker of the Gita, demonstrated in his life and precepts the very pinnacle of devotion, which naturally comprises the senate of the Gita's teachings. Because Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur is Sriman Mahaprabhu's intimate devotee, he is qualified to reveal the deeper imports of Sri Krishna's message therein. To give the reader insight into the intricacy, depth and beauty of the conversation between Sri Krishna and Arjuna, Srila Chakravarti Thakur has employed the traditional style of Purva Paksha, meaning objection and resolution of doubt, which creates a continuous flow of questions and answers, thus linking all of the Gita's verses like jewels strung on a necklace. His purports, therefore, possesses the uniqueness of revealing Sri Krishna's inner intention in instructing Arjuna, and they also reveal the doubts that arose in the mind of Arjuna that prompted his questions. The reader is therefore privy to the intimacy of their conversation and is more able to comprehend the reason for the succession of verses. Moreover, in his commentary, Srila Chakravarti Thakur has revealed that the very essence of Srimad Bhagavad Gita is the four seed verses known as Chatu Shloki Gita, Gita 10.8 to 11. He explains that within these four verses, Sri Krishna bestows Bhakti Yoga, characterized by spontaneous devotion, which is his exceptional grace upon the living entities. This essence also flows throughout the Gita's other key verses. It would not be possible to discern this without his guidance or the revelation of esteemed Gaudiya commentators like him. Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaja's dedication to disseminating the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his intimate followers such as Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur is unsurpassed. His renowned and endearing speciality, Vashishtya, is his inherent firmness in the most refined Gaudiya conceptions in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami, which signifies his perfect alignment with his noble perceptors. It is not possible for him to leave such conceptions for a fraction of a moment, and therefore it follows that they suffuse all of his Gita purports. 
This edition has only come about by the causeless mercy of Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaja and Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Only if they are pleased will we deem our efforts a success. We humbly beg our respected readers to overlook any errors and be patient with any shortcomings in our endeavor to present the words of such illustrious Vaishnava Acharyas. Aspiring to serve Sri Guru and the Vaishnavas, the publishing team Pandava Nirjala Ekadashi, 29th May 2015.